Have you ever wondered how fish behavior influences gillnet fishing? Well, you're about to find out. Gillnet fishing is a widely used technique in commercial fishing. It operates on a simple yet effective concept. Fishermen deploy vertical panels of netting in the water, held in place by a system of floats on the surface and weights at the bottom. This creates a kind of underwater curtain, a deceptive trap that fish can't detect until it's too late. But here's the catch. Pun intended. Gillnet fishing doesn't just rely on the passive existence of this net. It depends heavily on the behavior of the fish themselves. Curious? Let's dive deeper. Fish, like all creatures, have their unique behaviors. Some are solitary, others move in schools. Some are active during the day, others at night. Some swim near the surface while others prefer the depths. And all these behaviors influence how and when they encounter a gill net. For instance, fish that swim in schools are more likely to encounter the net en masse, leading to a larger catch. On the other hand, nocturnal species that are active when the water is dark may swim into the net, unable to see it. Species that prefer to swim near the surface or the bottom may also be more susceptible, depending on where the net is set. The size of the fish also plays a role. The netting is designed with specific mesh sizes. Smaller fish can slip through, while larger ones may bounce off. But those that are just the right size, they swim into the net, get their gills caught, and voila, they become part of the catch. So, you see, the success of gill net fishing isn't just about where the net is placed or how large it is, it's about understanding fish behavior and using that knowledge to one's advantage. So, the question arises, what specific behaviors make fish more susceptible to gillnet fishing? To understand the science of gillnet fishing, we must first dive deeper into its process. Gillnet fishing is a method steeped in tradition yet refined by modern science. It's a fascinating blend of patience, precision, and a deep understanding of our aquatic neighbors. Let's start with the deployment of the nets. This isn't a haphazard process. Fishermen don't just cast their nets into the water and hope for the best. Instead, each net is carefully placed in a specific location, at a certain depth, and during a particular time of day or night. This precise positioning is based on the knowledge of where specific species of fish are likely to swim. But how do these nets catch fish, you might wonder? It's all in the design. Gill nets are crafted to be virtually invisible underwater. They are made of a thin, clear monofilament line that is difficult for fish to see. The size of the net's mesh is also carefully determined. Each square of the mesh is designed to allow smaller fish to swim through, but to entangle larger ones by their gills. Hence the name gill net. Yet the real magic of gill net fishing lies in its reliance on the fish's natural behaviors. Fish, by nature, are creatures of habit. They follow specific routes, swim at certain depths, and are drawn to or deterred by specific stimuli. Gill net fishing taps into these behaviors. The nets are placed in the path of migrating fish or in areas where they feed or breed. The fish swim into the nets, get entangled, and are then hauled in by the fishermen. Gill net fishing is not just about catching fish, it's about understanding and respecting the rhythms and patterns of the underwater world. It's about working with nature, not against it, to achieve a sustainable harvest. With a clear understanding of gillnet fishing, we can now explore the intriguing behaviors of our aquatic subjects. Fish behavior is the cornerstone of gillnet fishing, but what exactly about their behavior makes them vulnerable? Well, let's dive into the aquatic world and explore some of the common behaviors that lead to fish being caught in gillnets. First off, their swimming patterns. Many fish species are known to swim in schools, moving in unison like a well-choreographed underwater ballet. This predictable pattern is often exploited in gillnet fishing, as the nets are strategically placed in areas where schools of fish are known to swim. Next, we have feeding habits. Fish, like us humans, have their own meal times. Certain species feed during the day, while others prefer the cover of night. Knowing when fish are likely to be out and about looking for a meal can give fishermen a significant edge. They can set their gill nets during these feeding times, increasing the likelihood of a successful catch. And then there's the fish's response to danger. When threatened, fish tend to move in a specific direction depending on the species. Some dart upwards, others downwards, while some make a dash for it straight ahead. Gill nets are designed to take advantage of these panic-driven movements. When a fish feels the net against its scales, it instinctively moves in the direction that usually spells safety. But in this case, it leads to entanglement. With a deeper understanding of fish behavior, 
we can ensure that gillnet fishing remains an effective and sustainable method for years to come. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and share with others, and write your thoughts about this fascinating nature life in the comment column below.